Hello, welcome to Daily West the dinner. I just came back from Pasir Ris Fishing Pond. Caught some crazy stuff. Uh, would you like to see what I've caught? Let me show you. Ah, this is my trusty bicycle that I bring with me everywhere I go. It can even carry a huge 33 liter ice box. Okay, it's right inside here. Let's take a look. Let's see what I have. Okay, don't be shocked. Don't be shocked by what I've got. Cause first standard stuff. Cut three. Three uh where's this mangrove jack? I cut three mangrove jack. Okay, let's lay them out. Then I caught four tilapias. Well, you might ask me why I catch them. I'll explain in a while. Four tilapia. And then finally, one oyster. One huge oyster. So, what I'm going to do? Uh, I'm going to bake this oyster. I've I've always seen their oyster in their in the Pasir Ris fishing pond, so I harvested one today. Not sure whether it's alive. Is it, if it's alive, I'll bake it and it should open up. All right. And as for the tilapias, they are everywhere in the water, so it's so easy to catch them. But I don't know how they taste, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do a taste test of the tilapias, and finally. I'm going to use one of these three mangrove jack to make ota ota with everything from scratch, right? I including the banana leaf from our church garden. Okay. This is my first cast. Let's see. Okay, that was my first fish, first cast. I land it like within three minutes. So I'm feeling excited, happy and hopeful. I'm here for a huge catch today.
road is bigger Yes, fish. There he is. This is my third one. Okay, back to cooking. This is how the oyster look like. Let's throw it in the oven. We'll bake it at 200 degrees for one hour. Next, let's prepare my tilapias. I have some spicy garlic here, so let's spice up our tilapia. You need three ingredients. First, flour. Cover our fish with flour. Then, cover it with egg. And finally, cover it with breadcrumb. Then leave it for a few minutes, let the egg dry up, then we'll fry the fish. Great, the oil is hot enough and just fry the fish on uh, low heat.
Look at the golden brown. So beautiful. Almost ready. Let's let's look at on the other side. Oh, this one is ready. How about this one? Oh, not ready yet. Look here, the fish fingers are done. Beautiful, right? These are. Can you imagine they are those black ugly tilapia at first and now they are beautiful fish fingers taste testing it but let's give thanks first uh, dear jesus thank you for a wonderful day that you have given to me um, uh, i've been so tired and uh, this today's leaf is really wonderful and uh, thank you for giving us uh, my family so many fishes and we thank you in jesus name amen okay Taste test. Okay, why don't I break it? Make sure it's cooked. Okay, it's definitely cooked inside. Mmm. You should always, if you want to fry your fish, fillets, always bread it. It will never go wrong. Mmm. Want to hear the sound of the, of the crunch? Come here. Up. Okay. It's definitely good. It would even be better if I put some mayonnaise. So I'm going to do that. Video. Eh? I've been baking this bugger for more than one hour at high heat of 200 degrees Celsius and it refused to open which means it's a dead oyster it's a dead oyster wow thank god i don't need to eat it otherwise i'll die so maybe it will turn into a decoration piece yeah? in the next video let sharu and i show you how to make otak-otak from scratch.